Hey, what is going on YouTube? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today I want to show you how to install Team Win Recovery Project on your Samsung Galaxy S4 and the only requirement is that you're rooted. Now before we actually begin this video, I want to I just want to show you that I'm actually running on uh, non, I'm not running on Team Win Recovery, I'm actually running on a similar thing to Clockroom Recovery, so I'm actually going to go and power off my device enter into recovery mode and show you that I'm not on Team in Recovery. Then we'll go ahead and download an app, install Team in Recovery without any computer required, and then I'll show you that we're on Team in Recovery. So I just want to show you that I'm not right now. So I'm pressing the volume up, home, and power. And once I feel a vibration, let go the power. Yeah, that's how you enter into recovery mode if you guys are wondering. Alright, so once you see that purple text right there, you can go and let go of everything and it will automatically enter you into the recovery mode, stock recovery or a custom recovery depending on what you have installed. And yes, this will actually work on your locked bootloader so the Sprint and Verizon users, um, it will work. So as you can see, I'm using a modified a type of modified uh, clock or mod touch recovery so it is like that and you have a little penguin right there too. So. Uh, like I, I'm telling you right now, um, this is not Team Win Recovery. So let's go and reboot our phone, install um, Team Win Recovery project, and then uh, let's get started. So I'll be right back after this reboot. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, the only requirement for your Galaxy S4 is that you actually just have to be rooted. So as, as long as you get Super SE or Super User permission when you open Titanium Backup or any other root app, uh, that means you're rooted and that's all you have to have. You don't have necessarily have to have a custom recovery on your Galaxy S4 device. So what you're going to be doing is go and tap on Play Store and go and search right here in the little search bar right here, search Goo Manager. So G-O-O space Manager, M-A-N-A-G-E-R. Right there, this was the first one, Goo Manager. And I already have it installed, so just install it. It's a 100% free app, so I'm just going to tap Open. And it will ask me for Super User Request. So do Remember Choice Forever and Allow It. So now you have uh, your into Goo Manager, and this is where you can actually flash custom recoveries. So go and select the little option key right here on your phone, and then select Install Open Recovery Script. Tap on that, and it says, are you sure you would like to do this? This will download and write a recovery image to your device, so select yes. And then you will confirm this is the correct one. So mine is a T-Mobile Galaxy S4. Just make sure the correct file name is for yours. Um, JFLTE, ATT is t uh, at and uh, SPT I believe is Sprint. Um, and XX is for i9505, and I'll just have an article down below for all the file names. I can't remember all of them, but I'll go and do my research and find the correct file names uh, for each of the popular Galaxy S4 models. So this is the correct one, JFL, JFLTE TMO, so that's T-Mobile, so select yes. And now it's going to go and download it and install it. So it just says, please wait, because we have to go to the downloading process. So give it a 5 seconds now, uh, out of 10 seconds. And then after that, we're going to go and download it, and it'll automatically flash it, and then we'll go and hit, uh, install it. So now on the top, it'll say right here, downloading, so in your ongoing notifications right here. Just a few more seconds, and in the recent years, Team and Recovery, um, Custom Recovery has become pretty darn popular, so that's pretty cool. And right there, as you can see, Recovery has been installed. Boom! So you're done. That, that, yeah, it was that simple. As long as you're rooted, <laughs> it was that simple. So now we're actually going to tap on Reboot and Recovery, and it's the same process of install going into Custom Recovery or Stock Recovery. So we're going to select Reboot Recovery, and select Yes. And now this will be a different look. It's going to say Team Win when we first boot up. That's fine. Don't worry about it. the super user has failed. It does that. And now it's going to boot up, and it's going to look real nice. And it's going to have those square blocks, the blue ones. So I just want to show you, as you can see, you get the blue text just like before. And in a few seconds, we'll be on Team Win Recovery. Boom! There we are, Team Win. Like I said, super easy to do, very, very efficient and safe to do. And if you're wondering, I installed Clockromod Recovery on your Galaxy S rooted device. You can just go and install ROM Manager and you can do Clockromod Recovery as well. So you have options. You know, Let me go and just show you that. You have uh, options for install, wipe, backup, restore. So same options as your Clockromod Recovery if you're running on Clockromod Recovery. Um, but it has more features and easier options if you prefer this or not. You know, you got your home and back too. So it's a lot easier to do. Um, so I can you know, go to install and then tap back if I want. It works 100% as long as you install the correct custom recovery for your specific model for your Galaxy S4. But that is how you install Team Win uh, Recovery. 
project on your Samsung Galaxy S4. If this video did help you out, please don't forget to like this video and consider do subscribing to this YouTube channel as I do only post videos for all Android all the time. So if you are an Android fanatic or like me or if you just watch Android videos occasionally, it's going to be a great channel for you because I have tons of tips not for just Galaxy S4 but a lot of videos in general, you know, general tips, hacks and more, you know, for Android in general too. And I have other devices like Nexus 4, Galaxy S3, Galaxy Nexus as well. So be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you get stuck on a problem with this, you have a question about how to do this, um, you know, maybe you have a ruining uh, question or anything, you can go and follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. So you can go and contact me through those three social networks. All links are down below and a written step-by-step -step guide with the correct um, technical file names, so model number names for each Galaxy S4 is down below in the article. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.